Hello guys, welcome back to Mornings with Granny. I hope you're having a good day. A beautiful day here today. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's probably, I don't know, 70 degrees here. Light breeze, gorgeous day. A lot of traffic on the road today. I think a lot of people are coming back from the beach or going to the beach because it's so pretty. But anyway, let's look at the camper. I am sitting in my reversed passenger seat right now. I did not put it on a swivel, I just reversed it. I asked the guy if he'd turn it around for me, and he did. And I think Gizmo actually likes riding in it better because I think he can't see the traffic coming at him. And I think he rides better. But I'll show you that in a few minutes. As you can see, we got little cabinets. They're not that deep, and I've got a little bit of stuff in there. Of course, we got the lights. I've got them turned off while I got the doors open. Over there is a little hook, and it came from the Dollar Tree. The orange light came from the Dollar Tree, excuse me, for a dollar and a quarter. The mirror I bought on sale somewhere, and then there's a little black bag hanging there that's got Gizmo's extra leash and socks in. And the blue thing in the back back there is to hang my keys on at night so I don't forget where they're at. Paper towels are hanging up on a bungee cord. The RV curtains my aunt bought for me. They were on Amazon. I think they were $22 a set or something like that. They are blackout curtains. And I've got them up there with a uh, spring tension rod. That's what I just pushed it up in there. And of course, we got our porta potty right there. It goes in that bag up there, but I usually keep it up when I'm driving, just in case. 69 cents for a popcorn tin. That's my trash bag. If you see the brown right there, that's horse pellets I use in the bathroom if I need it. On top of that is a little plastic bin that has extra toilet tissue in it. And the plastic bag that you see right there, extra toilet paper and paper towels. And then the black leash that you see, oh my foot's in the way, right there, that's Gizmo's leash for when he's in here. And that way he can't, he can jump up and down on the bed or he can get to the seat, but he can't get outside. And then I have this ottoman. Now I bought this ottoman for $4.99 at the thrift store. And I got the little tray for like 99 cents. I put the tray on it when I make my coffee in the morning, set my little electric pot up there but it's just got kitchen stuff in it napkins and so forth my little electric kettles in there the bed is the seats that are folded down it's about 58 by 65 and i'm seriously thinking about taking it out i've been debating it and debating it and the kids keep telling me to leave it but i could use that extra space if i put a slim twin in here or build one to the size I need it. I would have a lot more space over here. See my reflectix right there for the two back doors and the two side doors. All right, let me get up and turn around. And might as well for step down here. There's that metal stool. I got that, the step stool. I saw it on Bob Wells Cheap RV Living. I had a little fold up plastic one I don't know if you remember seeing it or not but I had one of those and um, I was scared it's gonna fold up on me so when I saw that one it's got adjustable legs and you can fold it flat for travel so I got it off of Amazon I think it was like $34 $35 so let's see what else we got here all right you remember there was a DVD player and a TV up there I had them taken out because they only worked when the car was on and I didn't want to leave the car on. I'm using it for storage. That's just a flat uh, bag I had I just put up there. Um, I got packing cubes up there with clothes in it. Not too much weight because they warned me about putting too much weight up there. So that's just a bag and I usually move that string out of the way so it doesn't bother me when I'm driving. The seat as you can see is turned around the metal tin I put up there because the drink holders in this van 
are not very deep and my drink would keep falling so I put that up there with heavy duty velcro the orange thing beside it is the right there seat belt cutter and uh, glass breaker and then on top of that is this um, dual plug so right here I got that off of Amazon because I only had the one plug in here and I also put an aftermarket uh, backup camera I think that backup camera was I want to say 20 something dollars on Amazon and then I got this pocket right here and I just got various things in it's got duct tape off bug spray a couple extra um, bags and stuff this is the name of the porta potty and Katie portable toilet it came off of Amazon and I want to say it was like $30 I'm not sure I'm not sure exactly but anyway there's not that much in here I I try to keep it minimal because I'm not living in mine I'm just going camping in mine so there's a difference in camping and living in it now when I travel I put my either coolers or eventually I might get a refrigerator I don't know and put right there and then I see Gizmo's um, water up on it so he can get to it when we're traveling and usually his stroller goes in the floor down here that's why I'm thinking about taking this bed out so I have more floor because it might seem like it's a lot of space but this is about the size of a small bathroom that's my cane over there but anyway it's about the size of a small bathroom so you know you think about being in here when it's raining and you've got a dog in the floor and you've got all your stuff in here and you're trying to move around and cook and change clothes and wash off and not step on the dog and everything so that's why I'm thinking about taking this bed out so I have more room but we'll see I'm, I'll, I'll make up my mind for sure when I get through dog sitting this coming week I'm gonna be dog sitting a little um, shorty she's a cute little dog and she's no trouble at all she's well she'll be 15 years old in July and I've known her all of her life so she knows me and she's used to me but anyway let me show you the back side now hold on that all right this is the back side of the van as you can see I've got this mattress on here this is a queen size mattress I've trimmed it a little bit and it came from Amazon it's called a seven zone mattress it's three inches thick and if I'm not mistaken it was $42 something like that all right I have fire extinguisher first aid kit this is just various things like tarps and carabiners and lights and stuff like that and then I got bungee cords this is just a little shelf I put beside the bed at night set my drink on or whatever noisy out here there's a four wheeler going by this is a little fold up table that came off of Amazon this is just a bed tray a couple of tarps this is my electrical uh, USB cords uh, the mesh screen to hang over the back door and a collapsible um, dish pan and then of course my chair that's it guys I don't have that much in here that's that's all so that is the van tour I don't travel with much I try to travel as light as I can like I said there's a difference between going camping once in a while and actually living in a van but all right y'all have a good day give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe thank you